Smart Tabber widget is a plugin for WordPress that adds Tabber widget uh, uh, for turning uh, several widgets at once into a tabbed interface. Um, before you get to work with a widget, you need to create one or more widget uh, placeholders. Uh, right now, by default, plugin adds three placeholders. We'll see now how they are look like. If you go to widgets panel, you will see standard available widgets. Let's remove this. Uh, and uh, placeholder 1, 2, and 3. And uh, below that, inactive widgets. These placeholders will not appear on the team. They are registered by this plugin and uh, they are used uh, uh, for you to add widgets you want to appear in a tabbed uh, interface. So, let's see. Archives. Categories and Meta. Uh, as with any other widget, you can set them up from here. You can rearrange them also. You have now prepared one placeholder uh, for widget. Now, drag Smart Tabber widget here. Select which play placeholder to use. We used one here. Good thing about this is you can add more than one uh, tab or widget using the same placeholder. Now set up the animation, transition effects, and styling with tabs location. Let's start with simple styling and top tabs. Okay. And here it is. Clean and simple. This is the default uh, tabber widget containing three widgets we uh, put into, uh, into the placeholder one. Let's see how it looks with bottom tabs. Equally good. Uh, by default, there are five predefined styles. Let's see this one. Or this classic. Let's add another placeholder. This one with two widgets. Never add smart tab widget into placeholder. This is an, something you shouldn't do. It will create a loop and your page will not render as it's supposed to. This one will set placeholder to Okay, you have two of them. Well, we don't have tags on this, so that will be empty. Let's use pages instead of tags. Okay, so we have two tab widgets. There is no limit. You can add more than one to or how many you need. You can add second one to use the same placeholder as the first one.
you'll get the same content twice but you can do that this is especially useful if you want uh, to use uh, the same uh, placeholder widgets in the tabber on the different sidebars so all that is possible with uh, shared placeholders you can add one or more placeholders and there is no limit uh, you can experiment with transitions so that's uh, pretty much a standard thing there are many transitions available for this let's go back to tabber interface first thing we have a bonus widget we will see how it works a bit later and you can uh, enable or disable loading of default styles and loading of default javascript tabs control code without this this will not work but if you have uh, some other way of adding uh, uh, javascript files you can disable it from here uh, plugin depends on jquery here is the style builder by default it will be empty but we have few styles created here if you want to create new styles simply go here if you want to edit existing one go here so uh, you have name and code code is used um, uh, for css class representing this style and type uh, of one of the five default types uh, of styles here you can adjust colors for different elements for inactive tabs uh, these two are inactive you can set a text color or you can set border or you can set uh, background let's put something darker okay for active tab the same background it can be different of course uh, let's put a white one this is a border and this is text color and for active tab we'll also put white as a background uh, you can save it and uh, that's it uh, you can check some other uh, styles let's say this one this is a classic one uh, if you click here you will see some unexpected results so this widget here doesn't actually behave as a uh, working widget it is for preview purposes only as you can see different types of widgets a uh, different type of, of styles have different uh, settings here for instance elegant only have these settings and uh, elegant box have extra settings for the whole container keep in mind that code this part here must be unique so if you set code to simply red custom class for it will be this all this will appear in the list uh, for a builder uh, for a, a tab widget and uh, we'll see some of them now let's switch to this light blue and here it is A uh, very important thing with all this is that you can export and import uh, uh, all the plugin settings. This include uh, settings, all the styles. This is where it is done. 
you cannot export actual widgets, placeholders and things like that because they depend on a WordPress installation and it's very hard to export and import all that again. So that is not supported. You can uh, switch from website to website styles and settings, but not the widgets. Simply click export. You will get uh, a file with uh, the extension STW and uh, do not modify this file because this is a serialized string and any change will break it uh, on import. So do not modify it and uh, importing is very easy. Select the file from here, click import and that is all. All the settings you have on a system where you are importing will be removed uh, and replaced with the new settings for this plugin. A bonus widget included is called link out. As you can see here, you have number of widgets and that's okay. But uh, let's say you want to add a tab that uh, actually doesn't have content, but it simply links uh, to another website. Here is this widget, move it here. It's called my URL. We'll call it smart. And if you reload, it will appear here. But when you click it, you will go to uh, URL specified in the widget and uh, it will not open a new uh, tab. Okay, it takes a bit longer to load, but here it is. Uh, it loads a website, it doesn't have its own tab content. It looks like a tab, but it's not. This can be useful if you want to create a control that have a buy button or something else at the end and as a part of a tabber. If you want to include a tabber inside a post content and you can do this let's uh, it, it can be done like this take the widget you want from active sidebar into inactive one when you open it a new uh, element will appear appear here short code and function if you use this short code inside the post it will generate uh, this widget inside the post. Let's open this post here. Uh, let's edit it. I will add it here on top. So copy this. Copy something extra. So this is all you need update and view and here it is you have a tab or widget inside the post styling might uh, differ from uh, sidebar but that all depends on your team you will definitely need to do some styling to fit uh, the uh, tab uh, to both sidebar or post uh, content for for the team there is no way to make a standard uh, styling that will fit with every team a sidebar area is very complex and some of the styling rules can be destructive for uh, the widget structure so make sure that when you uh, use this widget uh, test and create styling that uh, is maybe missing for your team or needs to be changed for your team. Uh, the same way you can use this function inside the templates. Uh, it will also generate the same result as uh, short, code, short code here.